Hi, this is question number 8 from the AQA Core 3 January 2013 exam paper. Um, for the first part of this video I'd like you to try the question out yourself, so if you'd like to pause the video now and give the question a try. OK, I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering each of these questions. So for question um, 8a, we need to show that the integral of um, e to the power of 1 take away 2x between these limits here um, is equal to 3 over 8e. Um, so what I suggest that you do for this is um, use a method of substitution. Um, so let u equal 1 take away 2x um, and then use a substitution to work out uh, what the value of this integral is and you should end up with 3 eighths of e. Part b um, tells us to use the substitution u is equal to 10x so this time it's telling us that we have to use a substitu uh, substitution to find the exact value of this integral here. OK, um, my clue to you here I guess is that um, if you start off by letting u equal um, 10x and then obviously you work out what du by dx is and you will get um, something that's going to be in terms of sec squared x um, when you do your substitution then one of these sec squared x's will cancel the other one out you then want to use one of your trig identities in order to get all of this in the same trigonometric function so in the form of the same trigonometric function so think about which trig identity you can use to make that happen. Okay, those are my hints. Um, if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go answering the question yourself. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at that. I'm now going to go over the full solution um, to this question here. Um, so starting with part A. <coughs> okay, um, so um, we are going to l use a substitution here, so I'm going to say that u is going to be equal to 1 take away 2x. Okay, so that means that um, du by dx is going to be equal to um, a negative 2 and um, so that tells me that dx is going to be equal to um, negative du by 2. Okay so I can now go ahead and do the substitution um, so I'm going to rewrite this so my limit um, well x was um, uh, ln 2 um, so we need our limits in terms, of, in terms of u now so my upper limit is going to be 1 take away 2 lots of ln 2 ok and um, my lower limit here instead of being 0 is going to be 1 take away 2 lots of 0 so it's just going to be 1 ok this is now going to be e to the u and um, my dx I'm going to replace with um, a negative du by 2 um, so I'm going to take negative a half outside of my integral and I'm just going to have um, du over here ok so I can now integrate this so I'm going to have um, minus a half so that's going to be equal to minus a half and the if I integrate e to the power of u I get e to the power of u and my limits are going to be 1 take away 2 ln 2 and 1 so um, substituting that in now I'm going to have minus a half and um, e to the 
one take away two len two take away e to the one now um, remember we're trying to show that this is going to be three eight e so we need to have this as an exact number so I'm going to carry on and I'm going to say well this is going to be minus a half times and this is going to be e to the one um, and divided by and two ln two is the same as ln four so it's going to be e and I'll write it as e to the ln four um, take away e to the one now um, e to the ln four is just going to be four okay so um, remember they will undo each other so we're just going to be left with four so that's going to be minus a half times e over four or a quarter e yes so e over four a quarter e take away e and a quarter e take away e is going to be minus three quarters e so we're going to have a minus a half times by minus three quarters of e um, which is going to be equal to well minus a half times by minus three quarters is going to be three eighths so we're going to get three eighths of e as required over here okay so um, that was part a um, I'm now going to have a look at part B. I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. Give me a little bit more room. Okay, um, now part B. This time we're going to use the substitution tanx um, to find the exact value of this here. So I'm going to start off like I did earlier say that u is equal to tan x du by dx is equal to and if I differentiate tan x I get sec squared x and um, so that means that dx is going to be equal to um, um, du by sec squared x okay I can now go ahead and do the substitution um, so mm -hmm. my integral is going to be equal to and my limit are now going to become well tan of pi over 4 is 1 and tan of 0 is 0 um, I'm going to leave this as in terms of x for the time being so we've got so it's to the power of 4 x um, and then we have times in that by the square root of u and dx is going to be, re be replaced by du um, by sec squared x okay one of the things that you'll notice straight away is that this sec squared x here is going to cancel um, with a sec squared x from this um, so this is going to become sec squared x now um, so say so that's going to be equal to sec squared x root u d u ok now um, this could be a sticking point here now because I've still got a sec squared x left over um, that I don't want so what I'm going to do is um, because I know that u is equal to tan x um, over here I'm going to write down well that means that u squared must be equal to tan squared x okay and I also know an identity um, that involves tan squared x and set squared x because I know that um, set squared x is equal to 
1 plus tan squared x. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, because set squared x is equal to 1 plus tan squared x, then um, and we know that tan squared x is equal to u squared, then sec squared x must be equal to 1 plus u squared. So I can now replace this set squared x with 1 plus u squared. And hopefully this is going to make things uh, a little bit simpler. So um, my integral is now going to be equal to 1, 0. Uh, and we're going to have 1 plus u squared times by the square root of u, which I'm now going to write as u to the power of a half du. Okay, um, and I'm going to uh, expand the brackets over here so that I can integrate it more easily. So 1, 0, um, we're going to have u to the power of a half plus u to the power of and 2 plus a half is going to be 5 over 2. I can now go ahead and integrate this. So that's going to be equal to, and if I integrate a u to the half, I get 2 times u to the 3 over 2 over 3. So if I integrate u to the 5 over 2, I get u to the 7 over 2. So 2u to the 7 over 2 over 7, with my limits being 1 and 0. So that's going to be equal to, um, well, we're going to have, uh, if I substitute 1 into here, we're going to have 2 uh, times 1 over 3, so it's going to be 2 thirds plus, that's going to be 2 sevenths, and then um, I would take away and substitute 0 into this, so that's going to be 0, and that's going to be 0, so um, we'll just have a 0 there. So this is going to be 2 thirds plus 2 sevenths. Uh, and that's going to be uh, 14 20 once plus 6 20 once which gives me 20 20 once and um, there you go so that's going to be our exact value solution um, for that there so um, just just to recap on this um, this part of it um, just required you to think outside of the box a little bit um, thinking back to or having a look at the um, examiner's report on this particular paper um, a lot of people struggled um, to move forward from this point um, here um, so it's worth if you get stuck it's worth just trying to take take a couple of minutes and just thinking um, outside of the box a little bit okay um, thanks very much for joining me I look forward to seeing you again soon take care